It's a fabulous day for math, 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 math. I hope you're ready. We need some supplies. Oh, you know, sorry, my big old camera's right there. Talk about math and a camera in your face. Whoops. Uh, can you get some things for me? For math today, you need your green math book and your green folder. Remember that one that you got at the beginning of school year? It's got all of those pages in it. Um, when you find it, hopefully it's handy in like your little school bin or by your shelves. I know lots of you have parents that help you stay organized. So thanks for that. I want you to find the page that has number bonds on it. This is the page we're going to use today. So find that green folder, find your green math book, and you'll need a dry erase marker and a dry erase eraser. If you don't have this, Feel free to get your board and draw it with me. Get a piece of paper and write it with me. But I really want you to do your jobs today so you grow your big math brain. So try your best to find the green folder. If no luck, let's just do it on paper together then, okay? But I have mine, so you're just going to write it on paper if you don't. Let's get going. I can't wait to do this one with you today because, gosh, I've missed that green folder. Okay. Turn around now. I'll try to do it so I don't show you my shelves. My shelves are messy over there and my crickets over there for all my crafting. So let's turn it so you can see my math book. Here we go. All right, look at that. You can see it, but goodness gracious, it's huge. We need to make that a little bit smaller, please, camera. Okay, there we go. Oh, and I got to post it, sorry. Okay, on your number bond today, we are going to be adding numbers and we're going to be thinking in our brains we're using the number eight again eight plus what makes ten we're finding totals like we're adding ten to a teen number so let's get started grab that dry erase marker let me I like to kind of make it a little bit neater for you because I got a lot of stuff on my desk so let me try if I can make it a little bit nicer over here I did it yay I persevered okay so First one we're going to work with is eight plus six. So here's what I want you to do. Put the eight in a part, put the six in a part, okay? And I also want you to think that we're going to add 10 plus something, okay? So in our brains, we know that 10, and we need to borrow, oh, sorry, I call that 10, eight. Eight and what make 10? Eight and two make 10. So what are those other numbers we're going to use? I'm going to help you find it out. So we add two over there we'll say to make six. Three, four, five, six. So I just drew it out so I could figure out what it was. 10 plus four is the same as eight plus six. I could actually have eight little dots and count all eight dots. And I could have six little dots and count all six dots. But did you notice that it's so much faster to say 10 plus four, where I say, bring the one, bring over the four, and I got 14 versus saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They are the same answer, but I noticed that counting it with the 10 way makes it so much faster. All right, check your boards. Did you write that eight plus six is 14 and 10 plus four is 14? Good, or check your paper. Now time to erase because we're gonna do another one. Whoa, my eraser is upside down. Goodness gracious, whoopsie. Okay, clean off. The next math problem I want you to try with me before we get out our green math books is eight plus seven, put them in. We're also gonna be making 10 and we remember that eight and what make 10. We did it yesterday a lot of times. We did it the day before too. And I just said it, yeah, it's two. So we're thinking I have two and we're gonna keep drawing. Three, four, five, six, seven. So now I know the magic number. One, two, three, four, five. 10 plus five is something or eight plus seven is something. I could do it this way where I draw my eight and I draw my seven and I, and I count on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew, that took a long time, right? The one in the five. Or I could just say a one for the tens place, a five for the ones place makes 
15. Wow, that counting the 10 way was much quicker. Okay, please clean off. Put that away and grab your green math book. I'm ready to work in that green math book with you. Mine's right here. We are going to, here's my page, and I'll let you know the date. So we'll do that together if you're ready. It's going to be 11 dash 12 dash 20 because it's still so November 12, 2020. Write your name beautifully. Remember, you're very important. You're a proper noun. You're a fantastic first grader. Whoa, oh boy, there we go, go slow. And now we're gonna get ready to work. Let me focus it, if it's not focused already. Let me make it bigger if you need it, but it's 33, page three, three, 33. Threes in, oh look, threes in the tens and threes in the ones place. Here we go. Uh, for the first one, we're talking about somebody named Ben and I'm pretty sure that there is a guy named Ben in first grade in Miss Brotlin's room. Ben has eight green grapes. I wonder if Ben actually likes grapes and three purple grapes. How many grapes does he have in all? Let me show you. It says we need to make that number bond today. So here, remember little numbers get the number bond. Make that number bond. Okay. And we're thinking eight plus what makes 10? We've been doing a lot of it. Yes, it's two. So eight plus two makes 10. And really we're thinking two plus what makes three? It's one. Two plus one is three. Okay. So if we know this is 10, then we know that it's plus one. 10 plus one is something. Eight plus three is something. Oh, you want to do the quick way over here. Write your one. Write your, oh, it's 11. If this is 11, this is 11. 11, 11, and 11. Good job. Okay, now this time we don't have a story, but we still can do the work. Little numbers, get the number bond. We always know that we're using two when we're making groups of eight, groups with eight. Sorry, I said that incorrectly. So put your two in. Two plus what makes four? Two plus Two makes four, so put your two in. So this is 10, we're visualizing 10, but they wrote 10, bring over the two. 10 plus two is something, eight plus four is something. Did you know? Oh yeah, bring the one, bring the two, it's 12. If this is 12, then this is 12. Super job, okay. Now use number bonds and write the 10 fact. Let's do a quick way of counting right now. And we know that all the numbers right here down this entire row are going to be 10 because they want us to write 10 facts. 10, let's do it right now. 10, 10, 10, 10. That way, if I get stuck, I can remember and, and see on my paper, that's the 10 fact column. All small numbers get number bonds. So all the small numbers, we could do that now if you want. All the small numbers get number bonds. Don't get tricked, I almost wrote it on the big number. Whoopsie daisy. All small numbers get the number bonds. <gasps> Uh-oh, they really tricked me there. I'm gonna have to come back to that one. Here we go. Eight plus five is something. So we know that we need eight plus two, you're right. Okay, so I put my two in. And now I'm thinking five, so two plus what makes five? So two plus what? Yeah, it's three. So put your three down. And now you're thinking 10 plus three. 10 plus three. Oh, it's 13. So 10 plus three equals 13. Don't worry, we're gonna keep working together if that was a little bit tricky. Now we're gonna come down to eight plus seven. And we remember, Actually, because my marker is so fat. Here, let me do it this way so you can see it. I know that I need the two, okay? Because eight plus two is 10. Two plus what makes seven? Three, four, five, six, seven, five. Yeah, so put your five in. So we know that eight and two is 10. There we go, plus five, plus five. What is 10 plus five or eight plus seven? If you want to do it the fast way, you're thinking I'll write the one. And I'll bring over the other number, which is five. And I just found out it's 15. So if this is 15, this is 15. All right, we're gonna do it again. And I'm, I'm gonna move those so you can see it better. Your little pencil will fit just fine. 
So we know that eight plus what is 10? You're right, it's two. So I'm putting my two. I'm visualizing 10. And I know that it's a double fact. Two plus two equals four. Two plus two. There you go. So we say 10 plus two is something or eight plus four is something. It's the same answer. Bring the one, bring the two. And we figured out that eight plus four is 12. Okay, we're almost there. You did awesome. Here we go. Let's think, and I'm gonna erase again so you can see okay. Eight plus two, we know that we need the two. And now we're, wait, we already did that one. I see it right here, two plus five. Okay. We know that this is 10, right? So it's 10 plus the other one outside, five. Sorry, you erased. 10 plus five is, bring the one, bring the five, 15. Eight plus seven is the same, 15. Now, here's where I got stuck. Eight plus what equals 17? I think maybe it would be best if I looked over here and thought about it this way. I know that it equals 17. Everybody has the same numbers there. So really I'm looking at this number. What is the, it's seven. You're right. So I know that something goes here, but I just don't know what it is. Could you maybe help me figure it out? One way to do it is to think eight and count to 17, where you said nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yep, you got it, it's nine. So put your nine right there. You did awesome, turn the page. And what I want you to do on this page, are you ready? It's page 34. I'm gonna fold my book so it's all set for you. We're going to do two together and then I would like you to finish the last three by yourself. Here it is, it says 10 plus one. Well, we know that we have the one and a one. 10 plus one, it, oh, oh, look, they told us the answer. And we put the 10 in and we put the one in. Now they gave us another one. They all equal 11 like we've been working on. Oh, it's 11, why thank you. Put your parts in, eight and three. Nice job. Now we're gonna do it again. And they all, oh my goodness, they're so nice to us. They keep telling us the answers. 10 plus five is 15. 10 plus five is 15. What? Oh, look it. Eight plus seven is 15. Put your eight, put your seven and move on. Look at over here, when you get to the ones that you're gonna do by yourself, they did not give you the answer, but you still know what 10 plus six is. Yeah, it's 16. And you still know that if you eight plus eight is 16. Look, I just gave you a freebie. So did you fill in all of those answers right there? By yourself, you need to finish 11 and 12. And if you notice, you probably have homework today on page 35, right there. Great job counting. That was kind of tricky, but you did awesome. See you later, bye.